Okay, everyone, we're going to do the last love reading for 2022. It is Wednesday, December 28th. I'm trying to get these last readings out so that I can make 2023 announcements. We had a five of cups. So you end the year with somebody, they could be, some of you, this could be a, a Cancer or a Scorpio or a Pisces or just any person. They could be like on bended knees, so to speak. They could be apologizing to you. This person would be very verbal and very communicative. This could be somebody that talks a lot. And they're apologizing. They they talk a lot because they want to make themselves clear. This is a person that they like to be clear. They don't like to leave. They don't like people guessing about them. They don't want you throwing around accusations, insinuating anything. This is a person that feels like they have a mouth. They know how to use it. They know how to talk. They know how to speak for themselves. And they have no problem. And nothing is causing them or hesitating them or restricting them from doing that. Because they are a adult male. This is what this person is that is coming towards you here. How you end 2022. Let's see. You had an ace of pentacles. They're offering commitment and marriage. Or they're offering some type of significant new beginning. They're going to be clear about what they're offering. Because they value it. And they offer it. Like, this person is talking. Now, is, show me this Five of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles commitment is stability. It's a fresh, new, big beginning. Some of you, this could be somebody new. And, and they come to war. Some of you, this could be an actual proposal. But then some of you, this could be somebody new. And they, they come towards you. They feel that the energy is clear around you so that they can come. You have somebody's face, and this is the first time I've noticed this in this card. Somebody's face is over here. So, but this is somebody coming with some type of offer. This man likes security. He likes, he likes securing what he wants romantically. He's like security, securing it, sealing the deal, so to speak. Decisions, yeah. Some of you could be a Gemini, yeah. Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, it could be a Scorpio. It could be a Aquarius. It could be somebody reconciling. That's reconciliation. Somebody wanting you to reconcile with them. Whoever this person is, they'll challenge anybody for you. This is a person that may have been fighting some type of battle for you. In order to reconcile with you or to win you back or to get you or something. So this five of swords regarding this man, and he's like the coast is clear, the energy is clear, he's won the battle, a battle that you may not have been aware of. It could be an energetic battle, and and he's you're you two are reconciling, or you two are, are, are committed. Like recording on the phone because when the phone rings and then it hesitates, I'll be talking, and if I'm moving my hands, it won't go with what I'm stating because the voice will be faster or the hand movements will be faster. It loses an alignment. So that's what you have here. This will be something, somebody that is strategic. The five of swords, this person is strategic. This five of swords energy wouldn't be energy that they would be using against you. Because the five of swords can be mind games and emotional manipulation. This person wouldn't do that. This person, they are strategic. Where they would not give you any reason to second guess them, to distrust them, or anything like that. If they would be good at not doing anything that will hurt you or deter you away from them like that so so they're strategic in that way is what i'm picking up this five of cups person is verbal and strategic in that way could they want you to see them in a good light so they wouldn't give you any reason to see them in a negative light like that they're that type of strategic 
and they could be quite open with their feelings. So that's strategy too. They are the type of person that they wouldn't plant any seed of doubt into your mind. They're good at getting what they want and where it's untampered with where you won't have any charge against them. And they that's why they win battles. Because the battle, they're not fighting it with you. They're, they're fighting the battle energetically with whomever in order to secure you. So if you've been dealing with somebody, because this is multiple people, and they've been playing mind games, that person would have liked them playing those games on you because it kind of makes it easy for them to come in like that. It's like that, that person that would have been doing that to you, playing the mind games and being emotionally mentally manipulative, helped this person win you. So somebody strategic like that, help them reconcile with you, help them get you, help them seal the deal. It's like that. And also, the person that is strategic, they help themselves because they would not have gave you any reason to doubt them. They would not have gave you any reason to have any charges against them. So this person could be like, this might be a Gemini. Or it might be an Aquarius moon sign or a Gemini moon sign, a Scorpio moon sign or Aquarius sun sign or Gemini sun sign or Scorpio sun sign like that. Like that, a man. It's like that's how he secures. It's like that. So it's a different type of confidence. Maybe this person knew you were going to have other people vying for you or vying for your attention. And maybe he knows the, the way that men play games. So he can he doesn't do that. He does the opposite and let them hang themselves. And he doesn't give you any reason to doubt that he doesn't plan a doubt in your mind against him like that. And it's like sealing the deal. It's like checkmate. Some of you are dealing with that type of strategy. Strategist. Like that, this person could be highly confident, but in in like that, and they would have been fighting battle in silence, and you wouldn't have noticed what was going on. They wouldn't have been working against you. They would have been sitting back watching an energy that was working against you, help them win you, or, or a person that was working against you, romantic, help them win you. Like, like some of you may have been dealing with. People, their strategy was different in getting you. And it's like somebody is, or getting what they want from you. It may have been somebody was more about what they can get from you. The other person was about getting you like that. It's like that. Somebody's approach is different. It's like that. And this person, when they get you and get you back, because the sister sword is about getting somebody back. It's reconciliation. It's the sister sword. They can, you could can feel like you're going to come back and feel like there's nobody better than them like that because you've experienced something else. So now you come back and don't feel like there's nobody better than them like that. Okay, like that. Because they don't give you that doubt. Like that. Somebody is very strategic and manipulative, but in a different way. Okay. Where it causes you no harm. They're that way because they want to get you with the Ace of Pentacles. You could be very important to this person. That's how you're leaving 2022. I want to go ahead and mention, because I know you all don't like listening to podcasts. You only like things when you see cards. Is that we're going to be with accountability coaching classes. I've been doing accountability coaching classes for two years. I'm going to be starting them back up January 14th, 2023. Remember, they're not spiritual based they're not tarot card based they're those of you that are starting your business or you have personal projects that you're working on regarding work or something that you want to accomplish in your life that's what i've been doing with accountability coaching for the last two years we have live weekly meetings where we speak live in video and you have your homework that i give you and the organization of your thoughts your ideas and also not only the organization the implementation and you reporting that back to me and strategizing we do all of that with accountability coaching the link for that is in the description box below this video per usual 
the clarity that I want to make is that because those of you that are watching these cards and you like cards and stuff, we don't use these like that. So let's go ahead and continue. You have the nine of wands. Now, so you've been dealing with somebody else. So you've been dealing with somebody that is work romantically. They're a lot of hard work. This is a person that is a lot of hard work. They would need a lot of your reassurance. This man would. And it could stay stuck and you just reassuring them and nothing happening. They will want to keep you attached to them and reassuring them of what will happen if you two got into a relationship. Or being loyal to them. So this is a relationship that could stay stagnant for years because they're never going to be reassured enough because this person lacks confidence. Now, this person is the type of person that will play mind games and be emotionally and mentally manipulative to keep you stuck on them. And feeding them and feeding their ego and dare for them and loyal for them. And you have to prove that. And nothing will happen until they feel that it's proven. And that's never going to happen because this person lacks confidence. Now, they've been playing a type of mind game. But then there's somebody else that knows a man that is confident. And he knows that's what's out there like that. So he works and strategizes differently. This one would have been emotionally and mentally manipulative towards you. So he would have called you wound, caused you wounding, mistrust, distrust, played games. Nothing would have happened. Nothing would have come out of the situation. You would have worked for this relationship, fought for it, and he would have did nothing. He needs you to do that and do that and do that until he feels confident. And that's never going to happen. Now, a man is coming that you're going to be reconciling with. A new one is uh, it's, it's a reconciliation. This is a reconciliation. Like that. And he is different. He is different. He will be there for you. He He's confident. So it makes you feel secure in a relationship. He gives security. He wants you to feel secure and safe with him. That's why he'll never give you that. Plant that seed of doubt where you would doubt him or his intentions or his actions. He doesn't need you to boost him. He doesn't need that. He's okay with walking a path and seeing where it takes him. He knows that what doesn't kill him is like it's like he's different. This is a different. Is the different here? Is different. So that's what you leave out of 22-22 with. Okay, everyone, that's the end. Thanks for watching. Bye.